Hello again, this is Glenn with Asylum 7 Studios, and welcome to part 4 of our complete website tutorial series from Design to Deployment in Drupal 8. And I've done a few minor things off camera, uh, but I'm going to walk you through uh, each and every change that I've made, uh, just to make sure that everything's clear for you. Now let's jump back to the style.scss for just a moment here, and you can see I've created a few additional partials. Uh, first one I want to look at is the mix-ins partial that I've created under Frameworks. I just moved the show outline debug mix-in into this file and included it here in our frameworks.css. Under settings I've created a new partial here that just contains our base variables that we have defined and I've set uh, variables for the dark gray and for the light gray. I've lightened the link color temporarily. Um, again, it's not going to look very good in this color um, for the end design, but with this set up for now, it's really easy to change these colors globally anywhere we have the variables referenced in the, the style sheets. So the next thing is the base layout. Now I still have individual sections defined here in the style.scss but they will not be staying here. Um, instead, each of the individual blocks will be moved into their own partial. But what I've done is I've gone ahead and moved all of the layout information, um, margins and paddings on the list, uh, display styles, uh, grid spans, things like that. I've moved into this base layout for now because this isn't really working well. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this matches the mock-up fairly well uh, even though we haven't styled the individual sections and we haven't uh, vertically aligned this navigation but we've got two things we have this logo image here and it does respond nicely to smaller devices in that it maintains its aspect ratio regardless of how small the viewport actually is but everything else on the page is just kind of crunching up together and it really becomes a mess, an unreadable mess, especially here in the footer where we have four columns. And, and that's just, that isn't going to work, especially considering that the, the product in question is a mobile game. And um, we really expect people that enjoy this game to be visiting the site on their mobile devices. So we need to rethink how we're building this website. Um, we're going to go with a bit of a mobile first design and start here in the settings.scss. So we're going to start, um, I'm going to say, let's remove this small breakpoint and we'll just uh, assume mobile first and we'll set the medium device to a minimum width of 501 pixels. Actually, let's uh, get back and set this to a range of anything from 501 pixels to 800 pixels. And again, we'll switch this to M's or RIMs later. Uh, we're just going to use these pixel values for right now. And large devices will be anything above 800 pixels. Um, actually, you know, let's, uh, let's change this around because I do want a another breakpoint. Uh, we'll set this to a range of 801 pixel to 1000 pixels and large devices will be a minimum width of 1001 pixels. And just to demonstrate what that's going to look like, uh, I'm going to create temporarily a body selector in which I'm going to be changing the background color. I'm going to start with a really ugly magenta. Uh, not that magenta is a particularly ugly color, just won't work well for this design. And let's see what I did wrong here in the mix in or in the variable. Ah, I have a colon there where there should not be one. And I think that's all. Um, yeah. So let's go back to our style.scss. And you can see we're defaulting to this 
magenta color and I'm just gonna leave that at the minimum device size and we're gonna say at include breakpoint small uh, so small devices we'll change that to uh, oh I don't know let's go with just green that should work well so now as we resize this we've got our default then when we get into the small device territory our background changes to green and let's go ahead and shrink this back down include breakpoint medium and we use red for medium sized devices and let's go ahead and resize this and that transitions nicely at a medium sized device breakpoint and finally we'll look at larger devices which will be maximized um, desktop machines and other extra large or large anything larger than 1000 pixels and for this, we'll just use uh, cyan should work well. Okay, so again, we go from from default mobile to small, medium, and large, and that just gives us a few breakpoints that we have to work with to get this design to flow properly on devices of various sizes. So thanks for watching. Again, this is Glenn with Asylum 7 Studios, and we'll see you in the next one.